I'll get the sludge remover. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Sludge. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up top here. We have a nice image of Sludge. His name is Sludge Legacy Evolution Transformers. On this side, we have a lovely Legacy the artwork on this side. We have some more imagery of Mr. Sludge. He is a core class, class region A, core class A, class of nuclear, class A nuclear, up top, legacy evolution on the bottom. Words and things on the back of the box, you have your O obligatory product shots. That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Sludge, the next of our core class Dinobot Combiner. And uh, yeah, here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode, and um, he is... He's something. He's something, all right. <laughs> Don't know what, but he's something. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There's the noggin. You can see you got some nice silver there on the face. Eyes painted in blue. Chest done in red and black. Lots of nice detail. Um, you know, the arms don't look great because they have the pieces of the, uh, you know, dinosaur mode attached to them. You know, it's supposed to be the wings back here, but they're attached to his arms. Um, he has like a crotch plate. Just a big old crash plate going on there. Done in black. His legs are the weirdest thing ever with how they work. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later. His toesies done in goldsies. I move over the back. Yeah, the dino head just hanging out back there as it's supposed to. But yeah, all in all, um, this is a, he's he's weird. He is a weird, weird figure. Now, articulation wise, the head can rotate. Um, the arms are on a ball joint. Can do a full 360. Can move in and out. Um, if you kind of you, know, you don't want to undo stuff here, but you know you kind of move things out of the way, you can kind of get some forward movements there. So, a thing you can do. Um, you do have waist row. Well, it's kind of like mid-body rotation. That's for transformation. But hey, it's a thing that moves if you need it to move. Now, his legs. His legs are the weirdest thing ever. So, his legs, as you can see, they're not actually connected to his body the way legs are supposed to be connected to a body. It's just, it's just, it's just really weird. So, his legs are not connected here. They're actually connected up here. That's where his legs are actually connected. So that's where your movement is. And that is just, again, the weirdest thing ever. But, you know, they can they, they can move forward. Not too much, but they can move forward. They can move back a lot, outward. You can get out about that far. You get thigh rotation, I guess. That's thigh rotation. But, again, none of that is going to look natural in any way whatsoever. Um, knees are just... It's so weird. Knees, you know, you got full range of movement there. Hey, it's something. It's it's something. And uh, the toes, the toes don't do anything. They are just molded in place. He is just, he, he just has the weirdest body ever. So there you have that. And now for Comparis Hunt. Here he is with the Core Class Prime. Here he is with the Power of the Primes sludge. You can see how he looks with the other combinable sludge. Here he is with our leader class sludge. So you can see Baby with his papa. Oh, papa. And here he is with G1 sludge because he's precious. Oh, so precious. And last but not least, here he is with the core class, slug, slag, whatever you want to call him. So we can see how the team is starting to shape up. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot modem. There are no accessories. What you see is what you get. But yeah, he is weird. This is just the weirdest robot mode ever. His legs are just the weirdest thing ever. I mean, I mean, look, we have to take into account one... He's a core class figure. Two, he has to be a triple-changing core class figure. He has to work into a combiner. 
you know, so obviously sacrifices had to be made, and in the case of Sludge, many, many, many sacrifices were made for the gimmick here, but, you know, it is what it is. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing you want to do is you want to bring the dino head up, and then you're going to take his arms here and bring them forward. Bring them forward, and they will just peg together right there, and that will bring his little dino legs out to the side, like so. Once you've done that, you're just going to rotate this entire upper body, 180, like that. Once that is done, you're going to just clip his legs together and get lined up first. You're going to start bending this, bringing this around, like so, and the hands will end up going into this opening right here, and just clip in. Just like that. Get that all together. And the last thing you're doing, just take the dino head and bring it up. That will snap in right there. Get it all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Sludge in his dino mode. You can get a pretty good spin out of him. But there he is in his dino mode. Very simple, very basic, not a whole lot to it, but hey, you know, it looks like it's dino mode, you know, kinda, sorta. I mean, again, sacrifices, sacrifices were made, sacrifices were made. <laughs> That's getting close here so we can take a look at that dino noggin done in a nice gold. Autobot symbol right there on the forehead, eyes done in blue, you get that silver there on the back. That's a nice mold of detail, I will give it that. Got some very little front legs, some very beefy back legs, <laughs> and a little nub of a tail. <laughs> just a little nubbin of a tail. Ah, it's precious. That's precious. Uh, just look at that. Look at that precious little tail. Look at it. Uh, but there is the top. There is the bottom. He slides like Dinobots should slide. Hooray for sliding dinos. And for comparison, here he is with Core Class Prime. With... Power of the Primes, Sludge. With Leader Class Sludge, so you can see how that works out. What? And here he is with G1 Sludge, because precious, oh so precious. And here he is with Slug, Slag, whatever you want to call him. He'll always be Slag to me because I'm old school, but hey, again, call him whatever you want. But there you see those two side by side. Again, that, I mean, scale, it's not, scale's not going to matter here. It has to be a combiner. So, yeah, no, again, another sacrifice that has to be made. But there you go. Now, as far as articulation goes in Dino Mode, um, there is none, really. I mean, you can bring the head that, I mean, you're disconnecting the whole thing. Hi, how you do? You know, that's, uh, that's not really something you want to do. The front legs don't move at all. The back legs don't move at all. Not even his little nubbin of a tail. But nothing moves. He just, he's just, he's just there. He is just there and existing in his space and in his time. So now it's time to get him into combined mode. And to get him into combined mode, we basically have to start back at robot mode. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to bring his arms up. Like that, we're going to take his legs and rotate them out and then bring this section up and there's a little tab that will go into a notch right there. So just line that up and that will just plug in right there like that. Second verse is like the first, rotate that out, bring that up and just get that tab in that notch like so and just kind of bring his arms out and that is it that is his combined mode right there yay okay, that's 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 it that that's it right there so now we can bring in slug in his combined mode what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in this tail piece and this will plug into slug it'll plug into slug plug into sludge your sludge not slug sludge Slug, sludge, sludge, slug. I know that. I know. I, I know. I know what they're called. I know who they are. Do you? I do. Sometimes, not often, but anyway. So you're gonna take this, and now we have posts that will go into ports. We're just going to drop him down 
like so. That will all plug in. That will plug in right in there as well. So you got that going on. So now we have posts that will go into ports right here. So just bring that in and secure that. And then there are little posts here that will plug into his hands. So just get that lined up and get that lined up and just get that pushed in like so and there we have those two combined and that's how that is coming along and he's definitely got a backpack going on there but hey i guess we can kind of bring those in a little bit tidy that up some but that's what we're working with so far so that is as much as we have of volcanicus so far so there you go so there you have Sludge, and yeah, he's just weird. He is a weird, weird figure. His robot mode is just super weird. His limbs aren't even connected where they're supposed to be. It's just so odd. But again, sacrifices, concessions have to be made for the combination. I get it, and it's a core class figure too, so that makes it even, that means even more sacrifices have to be made. I get it. I understand. Not everybody will, but I understand. The Dino Mode is fine. It gets the job done. Again, n nothing of this is spectacular. Again, they're core class figures, but the combined mode is really the end goal here, and that's all I'm really focusing on. I know the individual figures are not going to be fantastic, but the combined mode, I think, is going to be pretty cool when it's all said and done. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other legacy figures, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Sludge. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Why can't this thing detect pizza bagels? Super computer, my. Prime, I had another little snafu. Oh, not again, Wheeljack. Yeah, another little miscalculation. Dude, what? what's up with his legs? I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> You're supposed to be the smart one, Wheeljack. But you're proving me wrong. You're really proving me wrong. I'll do better next time. Yeah, we'll see about that.